Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Um, today we're doing pool testing. This is part one of a two-part series. Mining.luxor.tech versus Aeonpool.tech. Mining Aeon. Um, great thing about this pool test is we're going to be testing two different types of pools. Um, as far as their payouts go, we're going to be testing Mining.luxor.tech and it's a PPS pool. Um, versus Aeonpool.tech, which is a PPLNS pool. Um, we'll describe and explain the differences to you here in just a little bit. Um, I do want to show you we do have our two identical 6x1070 Ti rigs hashing away. Um, you can see here um, this rig is hashing at 1305 souls. Um, our other rig here is hashing at 1308 souls. Um, these are two identical 6x1070 Ti rigs. Um, they're the Gigabyte, Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070 Ti rigs. We do have um, using SMOS or Simple Miner and we are using um, GMiner version 1.10. As far as our overclock settings go we've got core 0, memory of 1000, power limit of 105. Our other rig here we are using core 0, memory 1000, power limit 105. When I say identical, these rigs are identical. They hash the same, they use the same mo motherboards, they use the same CPUs, they use the same RAM, they use the same risers, um, I even use the same mining frame. But what we're doing here today is we're testing Aeonpool.tech versus Mining.Luxor.tech. Normally, when we do these pool tests, we do a three-day pool test and I'll switch halfway through. Well, the reason we're not switching halfway through here is because of the different types of pools. Um, PPS versus PPLNS basically is how this is going to break down. So after our three-day totals, mining.luxor.tech paid out 38.59 Aeon. Aeonpool.tech paid out 41.32 Aeon. So let's go ahead and talk with you a little bit about PPS and PPLNS. So PPS stands for pay per share. So based on the average number of shares that you contribute to the pool and finding blocks, um, it's a solid rate of direct payment method. Um, it eliminates the luck factor. So regardless of whether the pool is actually finding blocks or not, um, at the end of the day with PPS you're going to get 100% payout. Um, as far as PPLNS goes, PPLNS stands for pay per last in shares. So this method calculates the number of shares that you um, calculate versus the number of blocks found on the pool. Um, if you're finding tons of blocks you might get more. Um, if your pool isn't very lucky you're going to get less. So this payouts could fluctuate um, hugely over 24 hours. PPS um, is not a very great um, pool to mine on if you're a pool hopper. In theory, over time, the longer you're at a PPS pool, the more you get dialed in and the more that average payout is. PPLNS is going to vary from day to day. Um, but today we're, we're doing a test mining.luxor.tech versus aeonpool.tech, mining Aeon. Um, it's a PPS versus a PPLNS pool. Our three day totals here, we can see where we're at. Um, after this, seven days, we're going to come back and we're going to do part two of this and we'll see where our totals are to see if there's any differences. Um, I did pull up some different information here, um, minergate.com. Um, I wanted to see a little bit of, of the differences in how people explain PPS um, versus um, PPLNS. Here, Minergate states um, if you're looking to make money off the crypto coin network you want to use PPLNS due to its higher payout. PPLNS will give you wide fluctuations in your 24 hour payout but for hardcore miners the law of large numbers states you will earn more this way. This is for people to trying to mine as fast as possible. PPS is for people who want to have um, statistics to base calculations off of for upsizing their mining power. PPS is not recommended for a simple mining because the payouts is less in the long run. So here's one explanation of it. Um, I did come over to coinguides.org as well. Um, let's go down here. Um, we'll scroll through and see um, which one they've got. So uh, should I choose PPS or PPLNS? Uh, this one is for the com this is 
is one of the most common questions most miners have initially. Should I choose pay per share or pay per last end share pools? If you are a person that who doesn't switch pools often, then PPLNS is definitely for you, as such pools are good at rewarding its loyal miners. Pay per share. No matter what, if you're fixed payouts at the end of the day to liquidate or for whatsoever reason, then our recommendation would be PPS. Pay per share works well for large mining farms who can calculate and have statistics baked based on their mining power. PPS is good for large miners, but really bad for pool owners as there's guaranteed payout for work no matter if the pool hits blocks or not. For this reason, and because of pool hoppers, not loyal miners of the pool, most of the mining pools have switched to PPLNS. Now, this is as far as coinguides.org states. Um, they also say pay per last in shares. If you are the one that is looking to accumulate and hold more coins, then we strongly recommend PPLNS. For each block that your pool finds, you'll get a share based on your hash rate. Unlike PPS, in PPLNS, you'll get payouts more often, and in the long run, you'll be rewarded more with PPLNS than PPS. However, due to huge variances, it's really hard to calculate your mining income. PPLNS is good for both mid-range miners and pool owners, as the payouts is only based on the blocks found. If your pool is more lucky, you'll see more payouts more often. This is the reason why miners stick to a pool where there is more hash power, assuming the pool finds more blocks. So once again, we're trying to discuss or explain the difference between PPS and PPLNS. We'll also come over here um, to medium.com. Um, explains a little bit, um, talks about Luxor.tech, and it explains here the differences in PPS versus PPLNS and um, how they explain things. Um, pay per share, pay per share, or commonly known as PPS, is an approach first taste taken by Bitpenny, which offers an instant flat payout for each share that is solved. Bringing this back to the water example, imagine, you know, it just goes a little bit farther here to explain PPS. Um, ultimately, does it take luck out? I don't know. Um, pay per last share in shares. Pay per last share, commonly known as PPLNS, is another popular payment method which offers payments to miners as the percentage of shares they contribute to the total shares in. So, mining.luxor.tech explains the, the differences there as well. Um, but what we've been doing today is trying to do our pool testing, mining.luxor.tech versus aeonpool.tech, mining aeon. Our three-day totals are here. Um, let's go ahead and show you aeonpool.tech. Here's the latest stats that you can see. Um, pretty transparent here's the address so you guys can follow it through the latest test as well um, 42.357 is its current payout with the pending balance over here on Aon uh, over here on mining.luxor.tech mining Aon um, 38.87 72 hour rewards and that does also show its pending payouts so with our pool testing um, mining.luxor.tech versus aeonpool.tech after three days. Um, here's where we're at. aeonpool.tech is leading 41.32 versus mining.luxor.tech um, 38.59. We're also testing PPS versus PPLNS. Um, if you like these types of videos or you want to see what other types of pool tests we've done, just so you can see how these miners hash, don't hesitate to give us a like give us a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you come down here, you can see um, we did test HiveOn.net versus Anorak.tech mining Ethereum Classic. Um, we've also tested um, here recently MinerPool.net versus RepellionPool.com mining Ether1. Um, we have a total, I think, of um, 16 or 17 different videos in our pool testing lot right now. Please don't hesitate to check those out. You can kind of see these miners hashing the same. Um, also, if you want to keep up to our latest and greatest, please don't hesitate to hit us over on Twitter. There's a uh, in the comments. There's a link down below. If you want to talk to me directly about these pool tests, hit that link up over for Discord um, at the technicals. Scroll down past the technicalspool.com, and what you're going to find is not your normal miner. Um, you can see here this is where we're doing our video. This is where we do our pool testings and those types of things. And um, we've also got a place for our latest videos, our latest and greatest tier. But wrapping this video up, this is part one of two. We are mining Aeon um, using mining.luxor.tech. 
versus aonpool.tech. Um, we are using SMOS or Simple Miner, um, Miner Program G Miner version 1.10. Um, this is Wes. I'm not your normal miner.